For Tasmanian-born Monique Brumby, music is her life. In her early 20s, she found national commercial success, winning two prestigious ARIA awards. Now, 15 years on, she's just about to release her fifth album, and her passion for music continues to grow. As Fiona Breen found out, 2011 has been a significant year for her, not just musically. Monique Brumby's latest song is a rich acoustic pop piece, exploring the theme of minority. So this album has a real sort of um, feeling of freedom about it. The songs are very emotive and I'm very inspired by really great pop rock music like The Pretenders and Blondie and, and those types of, of bands. And so we sort of... Um, tried to capture a, a really good band take for each song. Underground is on her fifth album to be released in October. The Tasmanian born artist was in Hobart and Launceston recently giving fans a sneak preview. Although she left the state 20 years ago, visits home are a much needed part of her touring schedule. We both love coming home. Um, we'd like to move back here one day, but at the moment, you know, it's our special place where we can come back and retreat. And when we leave, we always, we're always on the plane, sometimes having a bit of a tear in our eye. We are. 2011 is important to her for more than just a new album. Sophie and I have just got married in Hobart and that was a really beautiful experience. We had just our immediate family there and um, a few friends. It was a, quite a small wedding but very loving. Photographs from the ceremony in St David's Park, Hobart shows a happy couple surrounded by family. And just the looks on all the guests' faces when you, when you both came up the stairs, you know? Mm. They were, it was joyous and it was, um, it was, it was just lovely. It was a, a very special, touching moment. And I think um, the marriage celebrant also said the same, you know, colour, creed, it really doesn't matter. It's about two people um, having a love and a respect for one another and being able to celebrate it in a, in a very, very special way. Special for them, but not recognised under Australian law. Instead, their wedding has the status of a civil union. That makes me feel very upset that um, our union isn't acknowledged as a marriage. Um, we called our wedding a wedding. Um, we didn't call it a, you know, you're invited to a commitment ceremony um, because to us, um, it was as valid as a, a union between anybody else. The couple are hoping that one day their marriage will be recognised legally. It's something that I would really love to see um, changed in our, in our laws, that, uh, that uh, people that want to marry in a loving relationship um, are recognised you know, by our government. It also sends a message of anti-discrimination and I think that that's really important because if you've got a government that's saying well no these people don't have the same rights as these people that's sending a message out into the community that says you know we don't think these people um, should have this this union. For now the couple's priority is to get Monique Brumby's original music out to a wider audience all produced in their own home studio. You've got to be very driven and, uh, you know, you've got to sort of be very dedicated. You've got to find people that you can play music with and love spending time with. And you've got to work really hard because uh, the market is so... Um, uh, it's so competitive now. There's so much music out there and uh, you've got to sort of be across online marketing and promotion to get your music out there these days. It's a tough job but they're confident it will pay off. Mm -hmm.